Along with kombu, another vital part of Japanese cuisine is katsuobushi. It's made from boiled and dried bonito. Using katsuobushi crafted with great time and care, it is easy to make a rich dashi. Katsuobushi is a treasure trove of umami and a showcase of old-fashioned Japanese food wisdom. Bonito are rich in protein. A full 25% of their bodies are made of it. And katsuobushi is an astonishing 77% protein. Katsuobushi is rich in inosinate, a type of nucleotide that is an important umami compound. When inosinate is combined with glutamate, a synergistic effect hugely boosts umami. Japanese Ichiban Dashi makes use of this principle. Katsuobushi is more than just smoked bonito. It is part of a 400-year-old culinary tradition. First, bonito is filleted. A single fish can provide up to four katsuobushi. To keep the shape and flavor uniform, the bonito is carefully laid out before being lowered into hot water and simmered for 60 to 90 minutes. This initial heat seals in the inosinate. Then the bones, scales, and skins are carefully removed one by one. To get rid of water and prevent rotting, the bonito is smoked and dried, a process called baikan. This gives the katsuobushi its distinct aroma. After the first baikan, gaps are filled with a paste made from bonito remnants. The baikan process will be done over 10 more times. This completely dries out the bonito and also sterilizes it. After baikan, the bonito is known as arabushi. Removing the burned surface produces hadakabushi. At this point, top quality hangarebushi will undergo another procedure, seeding with mold. The mold traps aroma and sucks out any remaining moisture. It also dissolves neutral fats, which results in a clearer dashi. After two weeks, the bonito is taken from its barrel and dried in the sun. Mold is removed by hand. This process is repeated over four months. The long drying and mold process makes katsuobushi one of the hardest foodstuffs in the world. Katsuobushi is typically shaved into flakes. This increases surface area, which makes it easier to extract umami components. Its rich umami dissolves into water the moment it is submerged. It should be removed within minutes. Katsuobushi's umami comes from inosinate. It dissolves easily in water. Amino acids in katsuobushi take a longer time to dissolve. They can lead to a muddled flavor and muddy dashi. For the best umami taste and smell, shave the katsuobushi and take it out quickly. The Japanese discovered this technique. About half of the bonito caught in Japan every year are turned into katsuobushi. This time-consuming, laborious process is a fascinating part of Japan's food culture. Katsuobushi and kombu makers shape their products. They make it easy for chefs to use them. The makers and the chefs share a vision of the final dish. And that vision is a key part of Japanese food culture. Skill and expertise that make the most of the ocean's bounty. Katsuobushi is a supreme umami foodstuff.